there you are. Welcome and welcome in. It is me. Welcome in you to another episode of the Funky Chicken. Let's draw that. Well, well, this is an update. And this is it. the. Oh, it is the Thursday of Livelor. I'll get close to an accident and I'll get one. What did he say here? Oh, junk. Junk, junk, junk. Anyway, did have a wonderful conversation with Terry. We all know him as the Texas Viking. He said it was frosty in Texas. Very frosty. Frosty enough, in fact, that he had to wear breeches. Breeches, pants, trousers. I haven't figured that out. But I've always, Grandpa called them breeches. It's, uh, well, let's just go see what time it is. Got to turn the viewfinder back. It's that o'clock. A few minutes ago it was less than that and more than that. So this goes up and that goes up too. Okay, huh. Only took me 56 years to figure that out. Okay, what we've been doing today is uh, I fixed that. In case I want to go squirrel hunting. So now that works good. And the reason I've been playing with these in-house things is me and the neighbor are getting along on the little building. Him mostly because I uh, I get knackered easy. And uh, we're going to Get this going on someday, and it will be. And we had a, a windstorm yesterday. You can see by the windy stuff here, and it blew my doors open. Not my drawers open, my doors open. And uh, it was pretty vigorous. It even covered uncovered little sunshine there, sunshine bug. Hello. But anyway, I did mess around. I can do stuff as long as I sit down. So I sit down a lot. I put some more stuff on this hot rod engine of the Mr. Heavy Chevy's. Getting it ready to stick in the foil. And I've always wanted to number these plates here. They've got numbers on them like three and four. And hopefully it's got a leaf on this side. <laughs> Gather. And one and two. I thought that was pretty cool. And uh, this engine doesn't have them, uh, them plates underneath between the cylinders. Them, one, them little ones that's supposed to keep it from blowing, uh, getting too hot. I'm wondering in Arkansas if I can make something and cram them in there because I don't want to pull the cylinders off of this thing just to put two little tin plates in it. So if anybody got any ideas thought I'd just make something but if them things will go in there if I bend them up and cram them in there I've got a set but y'all tell me what it is and I can yeah I don't know if the the it's yeah anyway that's the way the world twirls there she's got new plugs and wires and gaskets and hoses and eh, a lot of good stuff rework some of the stuff and put some different plates here and there and it'll get It'll get all sorts of goobers on the back here. You gotta get the oil cooler thingy that goes there, and then the back splash plate, which is in there, all bent to pieces. But I'll straighten it out and put it on there. Anyway, that's that. And that's ready to go. Almost ready to go in my beloved Pearl. Holy. There's Pearl. Hi, Pearl. And then Pearl's engine that's rebuilt and everything that runs good. It's going in the Mr. Heavy Chevy. Oh yeah, the Elizabug. That's what I've named it, Elizabug. 
And I think that's a beautiful name, Lizabug. So that's a, let's go out here and see what I've done. Under these leaves is the roofing tin for the, for the roof. There's a concrete trailer. We haven't moved it yet. And, gee, it's a beautiful day if it wasn't so frigid. But I got these little girls lined up here. Man, wouldn't it be lovely if I had like six more here? Six more. Let's see. There's two. There's one and a half there. There's one there. There's one and a, there's a half of one there. The other half is down there. I've almost got six ones to put here. Get back. Thank you. So, uh, I think I'll be pretty happy. Happy, happy. And, uh, you know, I'm, I'm thanking everybody that got me into these little Volkswagens. They're cute. I have never, before this, I have never been around a Volkswagen. And I'm a mechanic for all my life. And from Illinois to Wisconsin to all over, and now in Arkansas, never, never, never. But now, thanks to y'all, and y'all know who you are, I've got Volkswagens. Thank you. And thanks to some of the other ones, God bless them, I have English cars. This one here, me and the Little girl's working on it when she can stay away from the weekend. She stays in town on the weekend and does stuff with her friends. And this is going to go in the building to stay out of the dry, stay in the dry rather. And around here look at the stuff i've got on the porch i've got to hang this porch swing up in the limb o ferns the fern limb but i'm not going to do that for a while because i think i'm going to cut the end out of this building and make and ask mary ann to park her new car in there not new but it, it was new so that means i'll put the top on this one and I'll satchel it outside in the in the roughage, but I'll cover it up good. I'll put it on some blocks or something. But I've drove the little girl three or four times. I've, the heavy Chevy's put more miles on than I did. They done what was right too. So there she sits, and there's that new top I got to put back on it. it was new. So that's the way. That's the the thing of my time. Mary Ann's rose bush that I've replanted three different places has propagated very nicely. It's a tough little rascal. One of the bad things I did, one of the many bad things I did with my first wife that I can remember, of course I was a perfect husband, uh, was she wanted a rose bush one time. How do I get out of the sunyard? She wanted a rose bush one time, and I told her, no, I want to be the only thing that was thorny on our property. So I went to town, and I got her a magnolia tree and a bunch of crepe myrtle trees and planted them around and made them bloom and be pretty for her. So, uh, oh, it's really hard to put a Bavarian curl on a southern man's mustache very hard now I didn't wax it with boogers or nothing but in the winter time I guess you can so uh, and this is Doc Gerard's old hat he came from the north he was a Chicagoan and of course he's since passed away God bless him him and his wife Faye Gerard I remember them well for being Yankees 
they're they mixed in with us and they did wear very well they didn't act uh, that that like they were smarter than us which they probably was but they're just lovely and we love them and and done more for them than we would fellow southerners because that's the way we are we we add people to our fold instead of pushing them away so that's what makes the south great so uh without further ado I'll say goodnight to you and Sarinachi, and I love y'all. And uh, I'll get this stuck in the air here. Uh, it's probably, well, you've seen the time in there. I don't know what time it is. Time is a immaterial uh, to somebody as redundant as I am. So that's what time it is. <laughs> and mm, I love y'all. And y'all take care of each other because that's all we got here is each, each other. Okay. Bye-bye. It's on the front.